Presented by the Frist Art Museum and Cheekwood, Diana Al-Hadid Sublimations challenges, transforms, and dissolves the representation of women in art. Join me as we take a look on this week's Arts Break. This is an exhibition in collaboration with the Frist Art Museum. Cheekwood has the outdoor portion of this exhibition and the Frist Art Museum has the indoor portion. If you're thinking about chemistry, sublimation means the transformation from one medium or material or into another, so a solid into a gas. And that's true of a lot of art. Art really is involved with the transformation of materials from one thing into another thing. But with Diana al-Hadid, the works themselves seem to be made out of liquid in a way. And you don't, you're not quite sure what you're seeing. And I love that sense of mystery. In Diana's pieces here at Cheekwood, her works are all kind of being built up. So they're kind of coming from nothing and moving into these mountains. At the Frist Art Museum, you see the direct opposite thing happening. You see these forms, these female forms, dripping and kind of going into nothing. I am interested in how materials can sort of transform and, and sort of how you can witness the various stages of their natural life in one work. So you might see the wetness of the plaster in a way, and you might see the solidity of the plaster. You can think of it sort of as a cross between fresco and tapestry. You can kind of think of the connective tissue pulling the image together, so the canvas kind of coming after the painting. A painting by Hans Memling called Allegory of Chastity. It shows a woman essentially wearing a mountain around her waist as a skirt or like a chastity belt. It's a really bizarre painting, I think. And I've been working with that image and kind of examining that relationship of kind of women treated as landscapes or imagined as landscapes. She has created this woman that has no facial expression or no face whatsoever, placed her on top of this mountain that she's created beneath her. Diana is representing this trope in a contemporary way, and so we begin to think about it very differently. So much of our lives are dedicated to crystallizing our understanding of the world, and art can oftentimes shake that up. And so when you see something that is really intriguing, but somehow it just eludes your ability with words to describe. And that's one of the things I think is true of Diana's work, is that you could try to describe it, and you can, get, you can give people some sense of what it looks like, but it's nothing like the experience. For more information on Diana Al-Hadid sublimations, visit us online at wnpt.org arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Martha Rivers Ingram Advised Fund of the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee.